So Luke and I recently hosted Mod 24, a 24 hour like live PC modding. Yeah, building extravaganza. Yeah, spectacular. Event. Event, yeah, that's what it was. And we actually had a number of you reach out asking us to do some kind of a recap of the event. Now, we don't have all the footage from it, so uploading the 24 hour archive isn't really an option. No. But what we do have is some footage of the finished systems. So we were thinking we'd do a quick overview of the third, second, and first place systems and kind of talk about the event as a whole. Yeah. Or as an event, because it wasn't a whole. Yeah, w like not a literal hole. Corsair Gaming RGB keyboards feature precision Cherry MX RGB key switches for 16.8 million color per key backlighting for virtually unlimited customization. Click now to learn more. Mod 24 for me was, at least at the start, co-hosting with Linus. And then by the time we were most of the way through, it turned into like just clearing the way for Linus's zombie walk to be able to be successful. So I had to just make sure that I could manage where cameras were going to be so that by, by the time he got somewhere, he could just continuously talk and it would be fine. Okay. So that he could go and pass out for short little like 20 minute windows, <laughs> regain a tiny amount of energy and then keep going. Well, I think it would have been easier if, because I thought the original concept was we were going to kind of be sitting in chairs. <laughs> yeah. And then we'd be looking at footage yes. coming from elsewhere commentating on it. That's what I thought it was too. <laughs> but instead, we ended up running all over the place, <laughs> you know, coordinating a lot of it. I mean, the team yeah. there was great. Oh yeah, they were awesome. But we were kind of going, okay, uh, I think they're doing this out in the, in the atrium. So you, camera guy, come with me, <laughs> let's go. Luke, you do this. And talk here and then we'll we'll talk about the security thing and figure out when we're going to flip cameras and something will happen and it'll work. And when we were really organized, Luke and I would go to two different places. <laughs> yeah. And then we would we would tag team off and we'd throw the camera to each other and that only happened a couple times. Yeah, not 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 way too much. I think the coolest thing about it was being there with all these people whose builds I've seen on the internet yeah. and uh, to actually seeing them work in person, even if, you know, the quality of what they could do in 24 hours. It's obviously not going to be the same as what they could do in months, which is what a lot of them are doing outside of this event. Yeah. So I guess we'll start with Team Kill Ninja. This is Rich Suras and Travis Jank. Um, Rich, probably better known by his alias Darth Beavis. Definitely, yeah. Lots of famous builds for him. I had really high expectations for these guys, but I really wasn't sure about their choice of an open airflow test bench style case. I think that came because they had very, very recently done a build in that exact same test bench with a very similar style, like ex two external reservoirs, the same radio replacement, all that kind of stuff. Um, so if they were coming into a 24 hour build, being able to build on a platform that they knew probably helped quite a bit. But then they did throw in a bit of a monkey wrench in terms of things that they know. Um, and my understanding is that that laser cutting machine yeah. that they were using to make their decals they had only had for about a week. About a week, yep. Yeah, they had not had it for very long at all. They were, while we were there, they were learning how to work with different types of acrylics in terms of different colors and different densities and everything and like how something would react if it was reflective. You'll notice a lot of the decals on the side of the case are actually like kind of a reflective metal look. Yeah. Instead of like a clear blue. And I think it worked really well for some of them. I think you and I both agree that the Titan, yep. the main Titan, the centerpiece Definitely. of the system, worked Looks really great. well. Yep. And the pilot worked pretty well, mm -hmm. but I think some of them either didn't come out as clearly. I think the ships are a good example of this. Yeah. And then some of them, it was more of a placement issue. The guns under the reservoirs are kind of hard to see. And the middle of both of them is basically entirely chopped off from most angles because of that reservoir. So it just kind of looks odd. And I mean, I think that if they'd had more time, if they hadn't had to spend so much time working on the decals themselves, they could have come up with a more polished build. I mean, the thing that really hurt them was they had planned a bunch of lighting effects for the main Titan, the yeah. centerpiece, yeah. that was supposed to tie in the, you know, favorite gaming experiences theme. And then they never actually managed to illuminate him. So they, they had tried, but I don't think they had kind of enough time. And this was also kind of a newer thing for them, just like the laser cutter. They hadn't done it a ton in the past. 
And speaking of time, they also had the problem with their coolant coloring. Yeah. This was right near the end, right as everything was winding down, and Darth Beavis tried to mix colors together to make a, a cool looking orange, which probably actually would have played together with the build a lot better, but didn't have enough time to squirt anything in other than pink. Right. So it made his previously white, which looked kind of fine, coolant turn to this crazy vibrant pink, which while some people liked it was pretty polarizing and didn't work super great with the judges. Well, I think that whoever gets this system, when they've had more time to polish it and finish it up before sending it out, is going to end up with something that's a pretty different looking experience than what they were yeah, able to do in 24 hours. Definitely. I think that's going to be a fairly common theme for all the builds, but this one especially, mainly due to the color of the coolant and possibly uh, the illumination of the Titan. Team Mongoose, made up of Lee Harrington and Ron Lee Christensen, had a kind of a... I'd say they had the simplest overall game plan. Yep. They were the only ones that took a real case, and then they picked a theme that would fall kind of sort of into any of the three that NVIDIA might throw at them at the time of the competition, and they had that whiteboard that yeah. had their entire plan. Every half an hour, little half an hour slots and everything, so they knew exactly what they had to be done by different parts of the contest, and every once in a while we check up with them. They'd say, yeah, we've, we've now uh, cut all of our, what was that, styrene? Yep. We've cut all of our styrene, so we know, we know we're ahead of schedule now or whatever. They, they always seem like they're ahead of schedule. Speaking of cutting styrene, I really didn't have much hope for this build at the beginning. No. It looked like uh, Lee didn't seem to really have much to do until the liquid cooling started, and it seemed like Ron was spending a lot of time cutting out little white pieces of styrene. Yeah, and, it and was then hard shaving them in different ways. And it was hard for me to visualize what that was going to turn into, but once he started painting them... I ended up looking absolutely fantastic. He's obviously very skilled with an airbrush, and this, this case just looks really sharp, especially for how much time they had to get it done. And there were some, some things I didn't expect, like the fact that that vibrant top panel ties in so well to the rest. Yeah, the fact that it actually works with the rest of the build is, is kind of interesting, especially because he even described the side panels as being muted. Yeah. They were, they were, it was a muted style, and then the top was very in your face, which is interesting. And other than a couple stencils for words here and there, one of which got wanged during, yeah. the, during yeah. the build process, but it ended up kind of working. Yep. He basically freehanded the whole thing. Which is actually very impressive. Uh, something interesting talking about freehanding, they had to move the reservoir because NVIDIA kind of changed the game on them with how many graphics cards they are going to have. So they had to move the reservoir into where I believe the hard drive cages would originally go yep and that ended up screwing a whole bunch of stuff up like they had to custom cut the power supply cover that comes in that into case and i think that is what ultimately cost them the competition because theirs was the one that should have been done like they could have yep. installed windows on it by the end of the competition but making those last minute alterations ended up causing them to not even be able to post their system at the very end of the competition, which to my understanding was actually the tiebreaker. I think that's actually where their extensive planning ended up hurting them because they planned so much that they didn't plan for anything not going according to plan. So when something mix mixed up their plan, they didn't have any time allotment left for it and it kind of threw them over. Honestly, I think losing points for not posting might not have been entirely fair because looking at the other systems, particularly the winner and how functional those actually are in spite of whether they did or didn't post, they all had postcode errors, so you can say whatever you want about that. Which leads us to the project that turned out to be the eventual winner, the Team BS Mods ancient IBM server machine that Bob Stewart and Rod Rosenberg chose to tackle. I think they had by far the most ambitious oh, yeah. project in terms of... Definitely leaving no time to spare, taking something that they could have worked frantically at for 48 hours and trying to do it in 24. Well, we would see, we would see the other teams go for smoke breaks or like stop Eat. for lunch, <laughs> breathe, just generally like necessity kind of things. And these guys would completely ignore it. Anytime that we were wondering where they were at for interviews, just, oh, okay, go to the courtyard. They'll be there working on their case. They'll be sanding something. Yeah, yeah. For the first 20 hours, they will be sanding something. 
Yeah. Uh, they had to completely build whole, they had to completely fabricate entire new parts of their case, including a whole new back. Uh, they, they had to add in, they didn't fabricate this, but they had to add in an entirely new motherboard tray. Yep. They had to cover up a whole bunch of venting on the inside of the case with metal I thought filler. they weren't going to make it. Me neither. 100%. I flat out thought they were not going to have a finished system they by the end of the project. wouldn't have, though. Right. That brings in the 30-minute extension. We were chosen to cap off the stream because Mod24 was freaking awesome, so they decided to let us kind of finish it off. Um, and that gave all the teams an extra 30 minutes, which was fine because they didn't actually have 24 hours anyways. So we allowed them to have a little bit more and get close to the 24-hour cap. But without that 30 minutes, I do not think they would have finished. And you know what? I think that even if the judges had had a little bit more time to look at the systems, or if the judges had been a bit more technical, it might have gone to Team Mongoose, because yeah. frankly, it wasn't really done. The stencil behind no. the door was not that great. I mean, I even heard them calling it a quote-unquote 30-footer when they were working on the paint job because they saw how little time they had left yeah. after the fabrication and metalworking that was involved in getting the case to even house the hardware that they yep, had. Yep. Their fans weren't plugged in. I believe that radiator is just glued to the back panel. Well, they cut holes for the radiator. There's a triple radiator hole series cut, yeah. but the, the tubing doesn't reach, and they had not planned to do custom water cooling because they knew coming into the competition wouldn't have time. that they would have no time for that, and they'd be spending all their time building the case. Yeah. So while I don't necessarily know if the eventual winning spot was entirely deserved, especially because they mostly went with an NVIDIA theme. Not a gaming theme. And less not, of a not gaming your favorite theme. moment in gaming. It was very specifically your favorite moment in gaming. Which I guess... None of them. Does kind of tie into to Phil, and I don't yeah. think the others really did it any better yes, than Yes, actually, did. that's a good point, because Phil attaches to them through PDX Land. That's right. And you could definitely say that their favorite moment in gaming was attached to PDX Land. But their system also just plain old wasn't finished. I mean, yes. the front fans were just not plugged <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah. Even though they true. did manage to post which ended up being what pushed them over the edge. Although we did find that the two systems that quote-unquote posted were hitting postcode errors. And right. the same postcode error that actually Team Mongoose was posting on. But for some reason wasn't getting a display output. Yes. Yeah. So overall, though, with all of that said, I was cheering for Team BS Mods. I told them that. I told you that. I thought their project, their concept, was the coolest. I think they actually probably had the most amount of people cheering for them, including myself as well. Um, because it was so ambitious. I loved what they were it doing. It was crazy. And the fact that they pulled it off to the extent that they did... Is amazing. I just wouldn't want to be them cleaning that system up no. for the eventual prize winner, because, I mean, those panels don't even go back on. No, it, it's going to take them an incredibly long uh, amount of time to finish this build outside of the event, um, and much more time than any of the other two builds, especially Team Mongooses. But it sure it was a cool concept. Definitely, and whoever wins it is going to be super stoked. All right, so guys, that was our recap of the Mod 24, 24-hour gaming stream system builds. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that we do an event like this again. Yeah. Next week? <laughs> yes, next week. <laughs> Let's do it. We could, Mod 24 on the airplane going to Germany. We can just, <laughs> oh. just build little mini ITX systems. It's cool. Don't worry about it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment letting us know if you have feelings that are just more complicated than this or this. Also, check out the links in the video description to support us. You can buy a cool t shirt. Okay, we have t shirts. They aren't this one. You can buy a cool t shirt. You can give us a monthly contribution. Or you can change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code. So every time you buy case modding supplies, we get a small kickback. That kind of stuff helps us out a lot. Thanks again for watching, and see you guys next time. That's what I finished my videos As with. always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> We've closed our videos differently.